What's good, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to the channel. I'm Lotus That's the core that never knows best. Bring you some more DNF dual rank matches. A game I'm very excited and very happy to be playing again. I got some comments recently on some videos, even some people pulling up to the Twitch streams asking me would I be playing more DNF dual? Will there be more DNF dual on the channel? And the answer to that is yes. As long as there's other people online and playing the game, I'm more than happy to also be playing the game. That being said, by the way, I also streamed it recently. So if you don't follow the stream already, twitch.tv slash Lotus Score. Links always in the description down below. And I and I realize I always zoom in on my face at this part, and it is right now, and it's written above me, but I'm always putting below because it's in the description. So maybe I should start doing like this or like that. Anyway, so we're continuing on with our Swift Master journey, running that Venti mod that I have on this character uh, up against a gold, uh, a, a, well, yeah, a gold two Ghost Blade player, which is the other character, Nice Punish, that I actually uh, want to learn. I actually was, I think I mentioned this already in the last video, but I was really hoping Spectre would come out with this patch. She did not. That's fine. Okay, hold on. What, what am I doing? What am I doing? What am I doing? What am I doing? Get my, my feet under me real quick. Also, this is the worst stage. I, this, this game is beautiful. This game's a lot of fun. I love it a lot. This is the worst stage. Lava stages, volcano stages, and games need to need to go. Nice conversion. Oh, he dropped it. Hold on. These tornadoes. Bro. Tornadoes. Boom, 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 boom. Boom, boom, boom. There we go. Mm, yeah. 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 I'm leaving so much damage on the table. I know there's like, again, I'm literally still doing my weak ones with master combos. I know this character is capable of outputting way more damage. And he's got some crazy stuff off of his awakening skill now. Well, off of DP when he has his awakening skill activated. Um, But he, like, I can't even imagine, like, once I actually sit down and, and try to learn more. Uh, and, and improve more in this game. I, I want to stream myself, you know, in training about learning better combos and getting my Oki set up back. I, I think this the setup that I just did is the right one. I hope that it still works. It seemed like it still worked because I think he got counter hit for trying to push a button there, but it depends on what I guess he tried to do as a real as a wake up option. Um, um. Whoopsie days. Whoopsie days. That's going to be a punish. Ghost Blade is so sick. This game is just so sick. You know, I've been getting a lot of people asking me, yo, this game looks really cool. This game looks sick. You're, you're kind of making me want to pick it up. Should I pick it up? And I say the answer is yes right now. If you weren't aware, I think it only lasts for a few more days. I think the sale ends on the 5th. But right now, this game is on sale on Steam for like 25 bucks. And I would say now is probably your best bet and the best time literally to get into the game because, you know, uh, more people are on it right now, like way more than it was like a month ago, right? I'm dead. I can't believe I let him get away with that. Wait, he dropped it. He threw me. That damn, damn, that should not have been his his round. <laughs> um, the game's on sale right now for twenty five bucks on Steam. Um, and I also play it on PC by the way, in case you were curious if that influences your decision at all. But now is probably your best chance to get into the game because there's just been a big patch. There's more people playing the game. There's DLC on the way, and I'm getting hit by that move every single time he throws it out. Uh oh, uh oh, wait, 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 wait. I'm dead. I'm dead. That was a really bad DP. Wait. It, oh, he didn't have a lot of... What a throw. Mm -hmm. I need to learn better combos, man, for sure. No, he mashed that there and got away with it. I'm toast. Damn, how did we lose that game? How did we lose that game? That second round, we really should not have lost that. He got so lucky. That's unfortunate. Game one goes to Wu the Pooh, who's actually on their on the verge of getting gold three. I guess if they win this next game, they'll be gold three. Um, kind of all over the place. This was my train of thought. This this game, not a game I'm very good at talking and playing at the same time. You know, in DBOZ, I can autopilot like crazy. In this game, since I don't really know what I'm doing, so I'm I'm so pretty scrubby. I mean, I'm scrubbing every fighting game, but it was much harder to do that in. Not, I don't think this is necessarily a harder game than DBZ. I'm just obviously less familiar with it. Uh, the 5B whiffing there sucks. You know what else sucks? As much as I love Swiftmaster, another reason why I want to learn another character, and another reason why I really hope Spectre comes out fairly soon and is really cool in a character I like playing, is that uh, what's not fun about Swiftmaster is him having the lowest health in the game and me being super squishy and literally dying, uh, getting two touched by every character. I had some matches against a Berserker player. And it was literally two touch like every single time. Which there's probably other characters who can do that as well, obviously, right? Even Swift Master himself might be capable of two touching. Uh, it probably is. Mm. 
But I don't have the optimization. Um, 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 um. Should be game. There we go. All right, we take the second round. Or no, the, the first round of the second game. Hopefully, we take these next two games. Well, this game and the next game, I should say. Ah, I kind of kind of blanked on the block string there. Oh, boom. This must be what it feels like to have Vegito 5M. I think I talked about that before when the game first came out, but, but it's crazy. Damn, that's such a crazy good punish. Please don't drop this one scratching my nose. Also, just remember, Ghostblade doesn't have a DP, so I mean, he's got roll and, tel and his teleport. And I believe his teleport got buffed. It's going to whiff. Yeah, I didn't mean to change sides there. And I'm dead. All right, so I cannot be thrown out. Wait. Got super lucky there. I can't uh, afford to throw out those tornadoes at full screen the way I would against other characters, just to kind of space out and kind of force them to interact or try to jump or, or dodge or roll or something. Because uh, he can just do his, was that, 5MS? Uh, and that's like a full screen punish for me whiffing uh, any special moves from that far, and he gets full combo off of it. So I got to be more careful about, uh, you know, throwing those moves out of at, at range. I'm, I'm not safe. Word, that's their round start. My dumbass has tried to jump, forgetting for a second that this game has no air blocking. Boom. Got him with the counter hit. Da, yeah, yeah, da, da. Mm. Mm. Kinda dropped that. It's okay though. That should be game. Another tornado. Another, what is this, 5S for his troubles. Pretty dominant round from us, pretty dominant round from us. I'm gonna just round start 5B. I was not fast enough. I've been dropping a lot of combos. I should consider myself pretty lucky. I should be getting two touched pretty consistently. Throw, thank you. Ah, I, d I did the, the roll too too early. Nice roll out of the corner. Yeah, I guess Ghost plays one of those characters that has to be more reliant on something like that because he doesn't have an actual reversal. Let's throw. Nice. Do you still get combo off that? No, not quite. Wait. I told myself about those tornadoes. Oh, oh. Ooh, 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 ooh. There we go. There we go. There we go. I had to focus up there a little bit. You know what I'm saying? The focus up there a little bit. I'm, I'm, I'm learning l little by little. Some stuff I'm remembering, some stuff is new, but uh, you know, trying to adapt in these environments and figure out how to play neutral against certain characters and learning the matchup stuff. I ain't got qu down quite yet, but uh, now we even things up in terms of like the badges he got and the badges I got. Hey, maybe I could get matched up against him again or another gold player that would also be cool. And uh, if one of us wins 2 0, that could be our promotion to gold three. But um, yeah, man, I mean, I'm actually able to jump online. Fine games with the play. Actually, the Berserker player that I mentioned just a moment ago was also gold too. So it seems like there's a decent amount of people back online. I I remember there was a time where I was sitting here for 30 minutes to an hour and I wouldn't really find games, but there's definitely games being played. There's people playing it, people streaming it again, and hopefully the the, uh, the player base only continues to grow as uh, you know more DLC comes out. We've got another match already. You love to see it. You love to see it. Is it the same player? Or is it somebody else? That's what I want to know. I don't mind if it's the same guy. It is the same guy, which is fine because I, I low key want the run back to see if this time I can take it 2-0 and also we're the exact same rank. So it's like promotion match, basically. 
and we're on the win streak as well so if we do win yeah we'll definitely promote the gold three if we win here but um yeah, else is a much better stage <laughs> did i finish my train of thought i think i did i want to see this game succeed man i like it a lot it's a lot of fun i really really do enjoy this game I was watching uh, Tampa Never Sleeps, TNS. They had a tournament uh, the other day for DNF Duel. And there was this really sick Swift Master player. I forget his name again. I think it was like Blue Linksys or something like that. I talked about it on stream and my chat was telling me that he's actually the best Swift Master in America, which I, I believe it. He definitely looked like it. Uh, his, his Swift Master was sick. But you know who I'm going to miss? Actually, I just realized my camera was kind of low. I apologize for the angle being a little bit lower than it probably should be. Um, Um, lost my train of thought. Goichi. If you guys didn't keep up with this game when it first dropped, Goichi played this game and he was probably the best player in the world and definitely the best Swift Master player. He didn't go to that many events. I want to say it was only one or two, but I remember it was it at UFA. It, was, it wasn't UFA, or was it? No, I don't, I don't think it was UFA. There was an international event that he went to. He competed in Dragon Ball. He made top eight. I want to say he got fourth or fifth. He lost to Yasha and I forget who else. Punk played against him in that tournament and Punk looked pretty good for a second, but couldn't quite close out uh, those games. I think it was 2-0, but it looked like Punk could have actually won those games. But um, yeah, Goichi dominated the DNF event there. It, it was so super one-sided. He, he had such a such a sick Swift Master. I mean, this character is really cool to me, so I'm gonna think anybody who's playing him looks really good with him. But, um, you know, Goichi was, was so dominant. I don't think he's playing the game as, or he wasn't playing the game as much. I think I did see him streaming it a bit recently. So he's back on it now. Uh, before I've been told, because every time I watched his stream when he was, you know, trying out the game recently, and what I tell myself about those tornadoes, he was uh, trying out a different character. But ch my chat was telling me that uh, he's playing Crusader now, which is a huge downgrade in terms of coolness to me. But if Crusader's top tier, yeah, I'm dead. If Crusader's top tier, then I don't, you know, what I'm saying it, it is what it is. I understand when you're a competitive fighting game player, you need all the advantages that you can get. You play top tiers, and I mean Goichi is no exception to that. Goichi always plays top tiers in his games. with oh there we go I, that, that might be the kill i had to had to focus up there for a second i had to focus up there for a second i don't know how long i was quiet but it felt like a really long time that should be game <laughs> let's go let's go swifty let's go swifty one more round boy let me get one more round in here i love this character so much I had someone say he's like a zoning character. I wouldn't really call him a zoner per se. Like Ranger's a zoner, Launcher's a zoner. Swiftmaster, I mean, he's got some tools, but frankly, their characters with much better range than he has, even on just like their normals and stuff. I would say he's more like a mid-range character than like long range, you know what I mean? I'm dead. All right, that was a very dominant round from him. That was a very dominant round from him. That, that felt really quick. Uh, and I've come to realize that I really like mid-range characters, like playing Ramlethal and Guilty Gear, like Swiftmaster in this game. Uh-oh. This is your home now. You live here. This corner is yours. This is your corner. Oh, that reached. Hold this throw for me. Nice block. No punish. Hold this throw.
game, game, game. There we go. He got a round in there, but we still take it to set 2-0, uh, winning this match two rounds to one. Do we actually get the rank up here? No, we need one more win in order to get the rank up. That's fine though. Get the win streak bonus and our next victory in this game will be our promotion to gold three, assuming we win our very next match. Um, and then, like I said, I'm having a lot of fun with DNF Duel. Only reason I ever stopped playing this game is because I didn't have a lot of other people to play it with. And like, I, sh I guess I could stream it and there'd always be somebody in chat who'd want to play and stuff, but it's not quite the same, you know what I'm saying? Um, I guess I'm just spoiled, but I like that convenience of being able to hop online, you know, in the middle of the day or, at, you know, decent ways into the night and still being able to find games and stuff. Especially like when I'm trying to record for videos, because I like videos against viewers can be fun at times. That's not what I primarily want the video content to be for when I play fighting games. I'd like to just be able to go online and have some fun with it. Uh, and, and again, we find another match. It could be the same Ghostblade player, but we're going to end the video off here for now, I think. Uh, but hopefully you guys are enjoying it. If you want to keep seeing the DNF uh, dual video, uh, you, you got to show me the support with the like button. So it is one with the like if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you haven't already so you can stay tuned for all this content that I'm bringing you. And with all that being said, it's pretty much off today. Remember, nothing could happen to you. Swing the bad. Later.